I just found myself with a lot of time on my hands around early 2022. Um, and I quickly learned that I, I don't really want to or like doing anything other than playing live music. I don't want to say anything, but it's a necessity. And it, uh, it wouldn't let me get away from it. Even Goose also found themselves with a lot of free time uh, unexpectedly and so we uh, got to jamming, got to jamming. We had a friend uh, named Andy who came to a practice or two but a lot of bands find ourselves in this situation where one is a professional wrestler. We recorded some songs with Will. Will is just the best of the best. Man, I saw Greg at yeah, we were just coincidentally, I was coincidentally in Las Vegas, I think for like um, a Mitch party of some kind. And he was there with Jerry Cantrell. Yeah, it wasn't long. I think a couple months later, I just got a text at like three in the morning that was just like, all right, let's give these motherfuckers what they want. <laughs> so I was like, cool, I think I'm in a band. I, mean, I hadn't seen Jordan in, in a while. It, it had been just a while since Dillinger had crossed paths or played fest. At that point, Dillinger had broken up for maybe four and a half years because it's been six now so uh i was like yeah and then jordan came to the show and we just kind of vibed out and uh we you know we were we all got pretty trashed and uh he was just like dude i've got you know i was like what have you been doing he's like you know we've got fucking songs written like me and steve and uh goose and you know we've already tracked some shit with will putney and uh he's like i gotta send them to you and i was like well, what are you gonna do with them you're gonna do like have different singers or something he's like i have no idea i just i just want to just just i'm gonna send them to you and uh it took a minute for my brain to like reboot into that mode but when it when it did he's like you listen to him every couple days you know wait jordan hit me up text me be like you fucking thinking anything yet thinking anything yet and then one day i just woke up and i was like there it is like i just i heard it i was like shit okay suddenly i'm hearing things over this it's really i can feel something happening it's pulling it out of me a little bit you know and uh I remember at like four in the morning, I just texted him and I was like, let's fucking do this, man. Well, we literally just had our first practice an hour ago. It's so far so good. Practice was pretty sweet today, so I'm really excited for tomorrow. I'm proud, like we're all proud of like our past projects, but this is something completely 100% different. You're not going to hear Every Time I Die songs. You're not going to hear Dillinger songs. You're going to hear Better Lover songs from here on out. As long as I'm making music with Jordan, like Buffalo is just always home. You know, this is always the home base. It's always headquarters. It's always been good to us. It just made sense to, you know, kick this off here, you know, and kind of have the, the birth of the band be here at Rec Room because, you know, we owe Buffalo a lot. It's been a couple of years since I've been on tour and a lot of things have changed in the music world since then. I feel like after the pandemic, there's been like so much more people coming out to shows and uh, just seeing all that stuff online. I'm like, man, I'm like missing out on all this, you know? So I think it made me even more pumped to, to go on tour, but also nervous because I, I feel like I'm like not as seasoned as I was. I feel like the, 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 the stamina will, will build back up uh, once we start going, but I got pretty tired pretty quick today, <laughs> to be honest. It was a band that was always meant to be a band. I think Jordan and um, Goose and Mitch had no intention of ever stopping making music. So after the demise of their previous band, those guys were still jamming all the time. There was always sort of a plan to continue something, you know, whatever that was going to be. And I think it took a minute for everything to sort of take shape with what the band currently is. but. Um, I was always sort of 
in the mix on okay whatever this is going to be you'll work on it you'll be involved we'll still produce songs and at the time i was still in the role of the, the producer you know so when greg came up and that sort of sparked it for everyone and that was kind of when i was like man if we get greg that would be something i would i would really be interested in we all have our collective projects and i've been in and out of bands over time this is like real good chemistry where we feel like we're capable of doing a lot with the band and i think short term we want to just show people a little taste of what that's like Chef. All right, guys, hey, hi, hi. Very special day today, very special day today. How many people here have been in a room with me just like this? A lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of feelings. The last 23 years, we had a lot of feelings together, right? We've mourned people, we've mourned deaths. We have been happy together, we've been sad together. Like. We've felt so much together. Oh. Next part, probably get a little emotional. Totally normal, but the last time we were all in the room together, we didn't know we were going to be mourning. And now we have a band that's coming to take that away. We don't need to think about that. That was something in the past. It was rad. We had a great time. We had a fucking great time. Okay? One thing that doesn't happen in that world is a resurrection where a band kicks fucking ass after a band kicked ass. Now, we have the ability to have a new favorite band. We have the ability to follow this band and feel everything again. So please, guys, please be present today and understand that we are watching something very special to a lot of us. Three of my best friends are about to come up here and destroy you guys. And I'm so happy I could be here for it. So please, 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 be present, feel this, have a fucking great fucking time. And here we are, we're about to witness our new favorite fucking band, Better Lovers, are about to go. Let's fucking go. Motherfuckers, you're not gonna need this. Take this. This song's called Becomes So Fucking Small. 